Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks, and specifically welcome back to my playing series where I play live for YouTube without the benefit of cherry-picking games. Today, I'm going to be playing the most popular tech tree tanks at Tier 5, and at the top of the list, it is the original, the faithful KV-1. Now, the KV-1 wasn't originally called the KV-1 back in the day, it was called the KV, and it had access to both the KV-1 turret that you see, but also it had the KV-2 turret at tier 5. And it had the 152mm caliber gun as well, but nobody really used that. Everybody used the 107mm caliber gun. So from the very beginning of World of Tanks, this one has always been really special inside the game. Wargaming realized that the, the tier 5 KV, that was all it was called, the KV, was overperforming. And so they decided to split it taking the turret and the guns that everyone really wanted to use and jumping them up to tier 6 when they created the KV-2. Hard to believe that such an iconic tank has not been in a in the game from a namesake, but at least it, it was in the game, but it was just at tier 5. You can find a video of old gameplay of the KV when it used to have effectively the KV-2's gun at tier 5 and the, uh, the crazy things it used to be able to do with the tank back then. But why is the KV so popular? Well, it should be, because this is an amazing training tank for you to start your World of Tanks journey in. It's brilliant because bad armor, good armor. Bad armor, good armor. It's really that simple. And still to this day, I've, I've been recommending for about like 10 or 11 years, that when people start playing the game, that they get themselves a KV and they learn about how to defend themselves intelligently. Because even still to this day, you see people up at tier 8, 9, and even some players at tier 10, who, who frankly just aren't defending themselves intelligently inside World of Tanks, because I guess they haven't mastered the art of armor angling. So, the KV has a wide variety of guns that you could use on it. I'm going to be using the filthy one. This is the 122mm derp, and it is an outrageous gun for when you want to do a little bit of disgusting seal clubbing because, yes, it hits very hard. And so that allows you to be able to um, hopefully shred your opponents before they can manage to, uh, to shred you. And that is a tier 5 premium tank that because I'm angling my armor up and I'm angling it now, he's not able to go through the front of my vehicle yet I've done like 720 average damage to him. It's so weird that Wargaming, when they nerf the high explosive guns, or should I say the high explosive rounds on all of the derp guns, they didn't touch the gold rounds, did they? No, of course they didn't touch the gold rounds. So now all that tier five has become, if you want to kind of derp, is you can't use the cheap rounds, the HE rounds that everyone want, we used to use to do like paltry amounts of damage to their opponents. Now you have to just spam gold, really, if you're playing um, playing with these derp guns. And this tank is awesome for the gold spam. So this tank's got seven degrees of gun depression, so it's quite flexible with regards to how the gun works. Uh, and yeah, when you've got this amount of alpha damage, I can't get him there, but I can get him there. Oh, how did I miss that? Must have hit the ridge line. I could probably load an HE shell here and shoot the side of his tank from this angle. But I seriously think that it'd probably be best if I still go for the heat round to the turret right there. And that is an Excelsior claim. I wonder if the Panzer 3 4 is going to come around the corner. He actually is. That was a bit of a misplay there by me. I didn't realize I wouldn't be able to reload in time. But I reloaded there in time. I ricochet a shell. Hopefully he doesn't manage to track me. He's spamming gold at me. I'm spamming gold at him. And World of Tanks wins. He gets blocked by a Wolverine which is also another popular tier 5 tank. And slowly but surely, you're all getting to see why this tank is such a popular vehicle inside the game. And if you're filthy, like me, why it is frankly just brokenly overpowered. Um, I really need some help here. I'm in a lot of trouble. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to help myself. If this guy pushes me, I need to put two rounds into... Oh, God, what are you guys doing? Can you chill out, please, old sport? The oh, I couldn't get the final shot in before I went down. I should have fired there. It was kind of weird because, of course, heat rounds get absorbed by fences. So I wanted to try and get the shot through the fence. Oh, well, apparently uh, 2,500 combined and basically killing the entirety of three equal tier tanks, if not four equal tier tanks, was not enough to win this game of World of Tanks. Welcome to low tiers, boys and girls, although maybe my team will still be able to win this one. Okay, that was the most popular heavy. 
why don't we play the most popular medium? And it surprises me, it's the VK3001H. But that's probably because there's a top of the tree event going on, which kind of like skews the statistics. And the fact that the KV1 is still so darn popular, even though it's not top of the tree, really shows just how iconic and also great the vehicle is. It's a fantastic tank. And I'm sure a lot of people just still play that tank just to be able to have all of the, um, the, the credit income that can come from it as well. Okay, so the VK3001H. This vehicle is outrageously good because it has a choice of seven different guns. That's right, back in the day, there were so many different guns that people like me actually had a job to do with regards to my tank reviews to tell you which gun you should use. Nowadays, it's pretty much just use the use one of the uh, the only gun that's on the tank that's competitive or use one of two guns like on my Type 5 Heavy Masterclass the other day. So I'm going to use the 7.5 slash five and a half Waffe gun. This is a phenomenal gun. This is called the Conish, and it used to be even better than it is now. I'm, my mind might be deceiving me, but I've got a funny feeling that back in the day, the Conish actually had higher alpha damage on its premium rounds. Please do let me know in the comments down below whether I'm correct or incorrect, if you can uh, link to an article about the old Conish gun or something like that. But I got a funny feeling that the Conish on the VK3601, which was one of uh, everyone's favorite professional seal clubber tanks you used to actually have higher um, alpha damage on the gold rounds now uh, all it has is just amazing penetration look at that 221 millimeters of penetration at tier 5 on the gold rounds or 157 millimeters on the standard rounds which is more than enough to use this vehicle is to all intents and purposes like a dw2 at tier 5 and it leads on towards the german medium tanks so I guess it's popular in the game at the moment because of Top of the Tree. So I'm going to be doing this whole series, so make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, to get notified. I'm going to do them probably once a week on a Wednesday, I think, where I'm going to play all of the most popular tanks all the way up the uh, the tech tree. But I thought we'd start low and then grow. You know, you've got to start from the bottom and work your way towards the top. And even if, like, we kind of are at the, uh, the top, at least with regards to my account, uh, for all of the different vehicles that we have. We still got to start from the bottom every once in a while. Okay, so KV-1 game was fast, furious. Thank goodness I had 370 alpha damage and a lot of heat rounds. Um, now, it looks like this might be a much more long-winded game. The ram is pushing through towards the center, and look at this gun. This is a phenomenal gun. An absolute monster gun. Shame I didn't quite react quick enough there for the ram getting behind cover. He might actually come back out again. I kind of want to knock down some of these trees because trees do provide you with fall. Well, fallen trees do provide you with concealment. Still, there's some people out there who don't realize this. You just knock down the trees where you want to bush. Very convenient. Uh, okay, good. I thought he was going to shoot at me and my fallen tree. Um, also, a lot of people don't realize, but you can actually use HE shells to knock down um, trees that are outside of the map and then use that for concealment as well. You'll have probably see me do it on Prokhorovka a few times on my YouTube channel, or definitely when I'm streaming. It's definitely one of my favorite things to do on Prokhorovka is to create more bushes because Prokhorovka definitely isn't bushy enough. Okay, so I was thinking about sitting back here and sniping. It's kind of funny that I'm actually spotting that guy at like 450 meters, but he is a heavy and I have binoculars. That's what I used to always do at low tier. Originally, there were only three pieces. Well, actually, that's a lie. Originally, there were three pieces of equipment that you could demount for free. None of this, like, having to have a demounting kit. Originally, there was binoculars, a camionet, and a tool kit. And a tool kit improved your, your repair speed a little bit. It didn't improve your track health like it does now with the durability device. Um, and everyone would demount them and put them on all of their vehicles because who the hell had credits in World of Tanks back in the day? Dude, I don't even have credits now in World of Tanks quite often, especially on my free-to-play game. Um... Wow, looks like my team is betraying me here. I'm going to go and have to shoot this ram, I think. I'm worried about the tank destroyers, though. They could be anywhere. But hopefully this kills this player. Nice low roll. What's this alpha? Is it 135 and I roll for 118, leaving him on six hit points? That's a bit of a pain in the backside. But hopefully he's just going to sit there for me now. That's nice of him, isn't it? Always nice when they just sit still for you. Maybe I can even get this ELC AMX. That thing's very small and hard to see, and it's hard to hit as well. But when they sit still for you... It's not so hard to see or hit. Unfortunately, he manages to evade my second shell. I spotted another VK. I can't believe I'm just sitting here in the middle of the map and no one's shooting me. Usually you get absolutely tagged. This is a very important shot. 
Okay. Well, good thing somebody hit it on the team, right? Um, there's a Panzer IV now coming after me as well. Oh my lord, they're all just not quite sitting in the open for long enough for me. Shall I sit here, activate my binoculars and see if I can spot the VK again? Mm, where is he? There he is. Perfect. Binoculars paying dividends. So yeah, back in the day you could basically demount uh, binoculars for free. So I would use them on pretty much all of my tanks. And also, the game was just so much slower and more uh, vision orientated back in the day and less kind of everyone rushes. What's that IKB doing? I gotta pick up some kills here, even if the IKB is trying to shoot me. Artie got me good. Really hope my team helped me out here. Uh, can you help me? Okay. Looks like this is gonna be a bit of an ugly game. I think I've gotta try and get into the dip. Oh no, maybe I don't. Maybe I just defend the dip from above. Oh, nice. HE round fails to pen me. I'm worried about the artillery. Whoa! Don't hit the back of my tank, little Artie. Don't hit the back of my tank, little Artie. I think I'm going to have to push here just to get into a bit of a better artillery safe position. I might get shot by the IKB, but there's nothing that I can do about that. All right, let's hunt the dip. We've already got two kills this game, but it doesn't look like it's enough to have been able to take this down. Oh, look at this. The IKB is actually making a push play against me. So this tank, I believe, has 10 degrees of gun depression, so I should be able to make my way up and see if I can get some shots onto this IKB. Don't do it, Mr. Panzer IV, please. I am just a noob. I'm just a tier 5 tank. I'm not not a professional World of Tanks player, honestly. <laughs> Little do they know, I have sweated, made this my profession the last 11 years, and I'm here to claim your souls, little tankers. Gosh, I sound pretty evil when I say that. But... Alright, I hope that Type T-34 helps me. I don't want the IKB to come and dirt me in the side. Oh no, he's got great heat rounds and he gets them, but he decides to ram himself to death on me. But unfortunately, I don't have a repair crew because I'm at low tier. He puts one shell in. I, oh, I bounce. No, he's going to kill me with an HE shell to the side. Oh no. Crew skill problems, boys and girls. I don't have a repair crew. I, don't ha I only have a one skill crew, so I took brothers in arms to be able to help me out. Nevertheless... Another 1,800 combined in this tier 5 tank. This is a good result. Good luck to my team. I hope they manage to take it down. Okay, so that was the most popular medium tank in the game. Now we're going to play the most popular light tank. This is the AMX ELC BIS. And this one is a fabulous tier 5 light tank. You really can't go wrong with the uh, ELC AMX BIS. Actually, what am I talking about? You can go very wrong. Especially with all the derp guns at low tier. You can absolutely, utterly go wrong at low tier that's for sure but the elc amx is a bit of a controversial vehicle inside the game because back in the day it was probably one of the most fun and overpowered tanks ever with the 90 millimeter however i'm a little bit of a weirdo i like to use the 75 millimeter on this tank because if you have access to gold rounds with a 75 millimeter you have massively better damage per minute but that's not the only reason that i like to use the 75 i also like to use the 75 because the 75 has a fully traversable turret. And so when you're running away from your opponents, you can still shoot them. And also, it's a lot more convenient to go alongside an enemy tank, maybe a tall one, like an M6. Uh, and then you can turn your turret completely sideways, and then just be able to shoot them while you go left and right, and kind of give them a side hug, in a way. The, a fatal side hug, in this case. Um, so, I prefer the 75 on this tank. But a lot of people will like the 90 because the 90 has that 240 alpha, which is much better. And it has better penetration as well. All right, so I believe I'm using vents and an exhaust on this thing. Uh, the exhaust will mean that I have something stupid like 55% camo on a tier 5 tank. As well as also reaching the spotting distance cap. Uh, now, of course, you want to go beyond the spotting distance cap with your view range. Because remember that... Uh, uh, there's no maximum view range in World of Tanks, but there is a maximum distance that you can spot your opponents with it. Uh, but in this case, I'll just get as much as I possibly can. See, we spot the VK there. I'm going to do a bit of a little handbrake turn to get into this bush. Let's see if I can get up here, get some spots. And I shouldn't get spotted because I'm tiny and I've got amazing camo. So unfortunately, it looks like we lost the VK game. Oh, come on. Oh, whoa, there's a bishop at the back. I mean, I've got, I've got a... I've got a uh, can you imagine if I don't... Oh, cool, we won the KV-1 game, however, though. So a 50% win ratio there. That's good. Well, I was hoping that my team would be able to shoot some of my spots here right now, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Um, 
Yeah, there's one thing about having great camera rating, and there's another thing when your opponents drive so close to you that it could even be like a proxy spot at 50 meters. Talk about a proxy spot at 50 meters. He probably wouldn't have seen me there if I didn't fire, but I felt like I needed to get some shots in. Unfortunately, now they know where I am, so I'm a lot less sneaky. Well, I'm exactly the same amount of sneaky, but I'm spotted in a position, which is awkward. Um, of course, low-tier tanks can't use vision systems, so it makes the spotting quite a lot harder. Should I take a risk? Do you think the Super Hellcat will see me? He doesn't. Oh, DPM. And the lovely thing about this now is I actually have my tank turned away from my opponent so I can run away if I get spotted, which is always very useful. I think I might go a little bit further backwards so I can catch that ARL in the turret. We are being a cheeky lad right now. Oh no, not quite enough. One more, please. Ah, oh, the ridgeline eating my shells. Wow, look at this camera rating. It's amazing. Amazing camera rating, boys and girls. Just got to watch out with the... Uh, the... Uh, the uh, T-71. Oh, hello, VK. What are you up to? You are up to the garage, mate. Oh, T-71. This is who I need. This is who I need to shoot. No! Come on, gun. Why are you failing me so badly? There you go. What's my shell velocity? 700? Wow, you've got to give a lot of lead with 700. Alright, there's a tiger who's there. I could possibly go for the tiger. It's a little bit precarious because they do have an ELC AMX as well, but I probably can find the tiger from the center here and get a few cheeky shots in. Kind of weird that I'm in a tier 5 light tank hunting a tiger right about now. Oh no, I got spotted. This could be a very grisly demise. I can get one shot by things like the SU-152, that's for sure. Alright, so unfortunately I got spotted, which kind of gives me an idea where the ELC might be. Um, would love to get some shots in against this tiger. We're going to use this church for a little bit of protection. A little bit of protection. Okay, there's the Skoda behind me. There's Tiger 131. Can he see me? He can't. That's ridiculous. He didn't see me. I'm sitting like 200 meters away from him and he can't see me. We'll drive behind the... Oh, hello. What are you doing, old sport? I don't want to get shot by Tiger 131 or his friends, but I'm going to help this AMX out. Don't want to let this AMX die. I'll help him. I'll help you, friend. Oh. Well, I think I was more of a bard, really. Wow, how fast was this game? We are less than four minutes into the battle, and it's already decided. Always sad, you know, when you get on Muravanka in a fantastic little light tank like this. Oh, look, he's using the 100... He's using the 90mm. It means I've got the DPM advantage on him. But on this map, I didn't even take the gun rammer. I believe I took the... Uh, the ELC AMX jewels. Oh, oh, he missed his 90mm shell as well. Or maybe he's firing the 75. I don't know. It sounded like a 90mm that hit my tank. Is that bishop going to go drown himself? Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Do you like shooting lefes? I definitely like shooting lefes. Let's go hunt this pesky little tier 5 French self-propelled gun. There's nothing worse than a, a lefe, really, honestly. We're going to give this lefe a little bit of a seeing too. Hello, lefe. How did I bounce off you, lefe? You've got cheats. Your armor is too good. To be fair, I should have been shooting his gun shield. Wow, I thought the bishop was going to drown himself, but the bishop is actually going down swinging. So, shout out to you, Mr. Bishop. That's awesome. I like to see artilleries try and fight it out. And also like to see artilleries dying at the end of the game. Wonderful. Brilliant. Well, that is the AMX ELC BIS, the most popular tier 5 light with a pretty solid game. I'll take 2,200 combined. But I have to admit, if the game had gone on longer, I was really hoping that that could have been a, a real fun one. Still, it was a nice game considering that uh, it's a tier 5 against tier 7s. So I'll I'll take that one to the bank. Just so you can see our other results quickly, we were number one on damage, number one on experience in the VK301H. And because I didn't fire any gold rounds, we made a very decent amount of profit. In the KV1 game, I was number two on damage. A Type T34 actually carried. Nice one, dude. But we did enough to be able to get through that one. And funnily enough, uh, actually, I would have lost 20,000 credits in that game if we were to take away the 90k that I got from the event. So it really shows you that those gold rounds are very expensive. But look, so brutal. I would have died in every other situation 
if I'd been using another gun. Okay, now let's play the most popular tank destroyer, which is the Stug 3G. Oh my lord, really? The Stug 3G is the most popular tank destroyer? Oh man, I'd like to banish this one to the Shadow Realm. Um... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is, at least in my opinion, really not a very good tank. Some people will like to play this thing with the 105mm derp, but I feel like once you've got to the Stug, surely you should actually start to learn how to snipe a little bit. Which is bizarre because it's a tank that has awful view range. Even with binoculars and vents, I can only get 412 meters view range, and that's with chocolate as well. Why this thing is so popular is absolutely beyond me. Now, you could end up doing fairly well in this vehicle, if, of course, you just get to snipe and your team is spotting for you, or alternatively, if you had an amazing crew, we're talking about with full brothers in arms, recon, and situational awareness, you might actually get up to a point where you are able to spot. This thing's so weird because the armor is so hit and miss, and usually it's a lot more miss than it is hit. Um, where am I going to take this tank as I go to the wrong side of the screen? That would be good. Oh, yeah, so I'm just going to sit here right over the middle of the map so all of you can not see how the game develops. Um... Yeah, it's really interesting. When I originally started making um, videos, it was a lot less popular for uh, YouTubers uh, to actually have their face caps on, on the videos. Uh, and some people would tell me, like, why you have your face cap on here? And I'm like, okay, I guess I, guess I offended people with my appearance, which I guess is understandable, you know. Um, these days, not so much. Don't see anyone saying that. Uh-oh, what have I done? Now it's going to be all in the comments. Kubi, I am immensely offended by your choice of facial hair and your hairstyle. You should remove yourself from the internet as quickly as possible. Signed, Sir Digby Waddlebottom. Yes, that would be a great name. That would be a great name indeed. Waddlebottom. There probably is somebody out there who's called Waddlebottom who's watching this video right now and is immensely offended that Uncle Scrubby Baby would... would think that their name was even remotely humorous. There's nothing humorous about the name Water Water Mold Sport, I tell you. Absolutely nothing. Uh, how am I stuck? Sometimes I think I disconnect when I get stuck on the slope. I don't even know what I'm doing in this game, honestly. I'm just playing a shtug. I don't know. The first three vehicles that I played, I can... I, I know why they're popular. This one, I don't know why this is popular. Is it just because people want to play German tank destroyers? I guess. Because Top of the Tree last month was the Fosh B and the T-57 Heavy, right? So there's no other reason as to why this thing would be so popular. So I guess people just think like, Stug, 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 I'm going to play the Stug. Oh, yeah. Is there like a real hardcore audience that just loves the Stug and I just don't know about it? I understand that it's an iconic tank and it's a, it's a cool looking vehicle and all of that, but I cannot imagine anyone who's, once they've got past like tier five in World of Tanks, who would ever want to play this. Although I say that and that, M10 RBFM just managed to uh, get themselves farmed. I'm just going to sit in the middle of the map and wait for donkeys. Great tactics, Quacky Babs, but honestly, there are some tanks in the game, like this one, where I do think it's a case of just sitting in the middle of the map and waiting for donkeys. I'm lucky the concealment value on this vehicle is not too bad. Another thing that I hate about this tank is look how much ammunition it carries. So small amount of ammo. So I'm quite likely, I guess with a few minutes of continuous fire, or even not a few minutes, like two minutes of continuous fire, I could run out of my armor-piercing rounds and then have to fire heat inside a good matchup. Ooh, I hate losing credits like that. Or even worse, run out of premium rounds inside a bad matchup and now no longer be able to penetrate your, your opponents. All right, T-150, talk about premium rounds. I think it's time to release the gold on this higher tier heavy. He knows exactly where I am now. Oh, I can't even pen him. He's trying to get me. I'll shoot his turret, I guess. Oh, nice ricochet. And this is where, you know, it would be nice to have, I don't know, view range. It would be nice to have view range. Like, I can understand that low-tier tanks shouldn't have enough view range to, like, have coated optics and still be able to see at decent distances. But I feel like this is a little crazy. Like, I'm using binoculars and I'm using vents. And, and I'm using chocolate. Okay, I can tell this guy I'm going to help him. All right, T1 Heavy, let's go. I'm going to try and communicate all my reloads with my team here. I'm just going to fire some gold here. I need it at this kind of distance of these heavies. Maybe I don't. Actually, you know what? Maybe I don't. Maybe I can fire the regular rounds and save the gold rounds for another tank. Yeah, I can pen some regular rounds. It's a pretty good pen on this tank, actually. 
feel bad for spamming the gold. Might need it later on for the hard carry. Well, there you go. That's where I needed the gold. But what's this Stug doing? I don't think he can see me, actually. No, he can't, because otherwise... Stug versus Stug. Stug versus Stug, old spot. Well, this is actually a really good game for the Stug. Um, so far, he says. I don't think I'm going to live that much longer. Just got to be careful that I'm not going to get spotted right now. Um... I can't honestly believe I've only done 1,100 damage. I, on I think if I'd been in, like, the Death Toaster, the Tier 4, um, what's it called? The the 4C? I honestly think I would have done better in the in the 4C. Oh, gosh, they're really coming after me now. I think I'm just going to have to park the bus and be a scout now. Yeah, I'm going to have to be a scout. Do you think I can run away? Please help me, SUY. Help me. Help me, SU100Y. We can do it. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. I've got a British TD behind me. I've got a T-150 ahead of me. He's only 50 meters away from seeing me. He's only... He's going to see me. He's going to see me. I'm going to have to get out of here. What? Oh, my God. I'm so sneaky, but unfortunately, it's over, boys and girls. What can I do here? I guess I've got to try and avoid the 88 and try and go after the T-34. Oh, my Lord. He's just rushing me and nobody kills him. What am I meant to do? Why is nobody killing him? Okay, they are now. Good job, team. Oh, come on, baby. Can survive this. Okay, he fired. 88 there. Oh, my lord. What a clown game. Okay, he died. Okay, I baited him into death. That's wonderful. Well done, Mr. Quickie Baby. You have baited another tank into death today on this glorious Wednesday afternoon of, of death baiting. Yes. Okay, um, what should I do? Make my weapon to the slope? I think I should. Let's go up onto this slope. Let's go up onto the slope. Man, this that was a pretty great escape, if I do say so myself. And luckily for me, the 88 is getting farmed in the center. Maybe I can see why people are playing this tank now. No. No, no, I'm lying. I have, I'm fibbing. I'm fibbing. How can you tell a quacky baby is fibbing? His lips are moving. Um, I'm not a lawyer. Ha oh, ha ha. Solicitor. All of that. No, um, in all seriousness, I still have no idea why people play this tank. Legit. Legit. Where is that guy? He is there. I hit him once. Didn't hit him twice. I have no idea why people play this vehicle. I'm, I'm deadly serious. Okay, so I've got a hard decision now. Like, I can, I can sit here and I can camp. Or I can go and try and take the bush line and actually spot people. I'm going to go and try and take the bush line and spot people. It's a risk, but it's a risk I'm going to take. Uh, unfortunately, if the VK has pushed on, then I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I don't think the 88 will see me right now. Okay, this is tense. This is tense, boys and girls. The Stug's got forwards. Let's activate our binoculars. There he is. Our binoculars don't don't help. Can you shoot over there, Mr. VK? Please shoot over here, Mr. VK. There he is. There's the T1 Heavy. We found him. Okay, let's pull back behind the bush so we can shoot through the bush without getting spotted through the bush. Nice. We didn't even need to. The Skoda got him for us. That KB1's a very healthy boy. Still got to watch out for him. Looks like we've got Tiger 131 who's marauding towards the enemy base, which is always nice. Okay, I'm going to go and try and check the other... Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Can I go far enough back without getting spotted from there? I think I can. I've got to make this play. Here we go. I'm going to shoot through this guy's building. Twice, I guess. All right, now I've got him where I want him. Oh, never mind. I got spotted. He might get me where he wants me. Is he going to try and reverse behind the building? Why doesn't he reverse behind the building? I hmm, wonder if they can still see me. I'll probably wait for my team. Maybe I can reverse and try and shoot through the building here with an HE shell. I don't have any HE shells on this tank because it carries so little ammunition. Come on, baby. Did he spot me again? No, this game's still close, dude, on hit points. I just can't quite get this guy. There he is. Okay, now's my shot. Let's get his tracks. Oh. Let's get his tracks again. 
Oh, we didn't get the tracks the second time. Let's get his tracks. Tracks damaged. Tracks damaged. Ha! Oh, this is the best game in the Stug. Pretty much possible right now. This is the dream for the Stug. Using some high tier Stug tactics. Nice! 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 Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Ha! We got him as well. He didn't even see us. Should I go fight this guy? He's got a lot. Oh no, he's seen me, he's seen me. Why is my team not capping, by the way? You'd think they would have capped. Tiger131 just decided he didn't want to cap. We've only got five minutes left. Do I have to start going? Oh, there he is. Oh wow, I'm gonna go after him instead. I'll be able to get him with regular rounds. Um, this game's damn close. I wonder if the VK the VK's low on health now though, which is good. Hopefully this guy decides to shoot the tiger. Do you think he'll shoot at me? He could do. Nice! For the game? Oh, let's go! That's a huge game for the one of the worst tier 5 TDs you'll ever play. But, oh well, there's, at least there's no accounting for taste inside the, uh, the World of Tanks community. Playing live on YouTube when it goes well is so fun, and when it doesn't go well, it's definitely not so fun. Luckily, this one went really well. Look at that. 10 minute stomping round there against, uh, was it tier 6 tanks? I was a bit nervous when that T-150 uh, was coming after me. Look, he was a half-decent player. 50% with 44,000 games played. But he couldn't catch me. I was the gingerbread man in that last game. Even with this 70% crew, that was a great round for the Stug. Oh, God. I think I just made this tank a little bit more popular, probably, in the game for the next few days. Anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, those were the most popular tanks at Tier 5. I think I did very well in each of the games. I'm surprised. Usually low tier is an absolute horror show. But this one worked out well. Anyway, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you if you like these live videos as well, please do let me know in the comments and make sure you do give it a thumbs up. But if you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And let me know if you're surprised that any of these vehicles are the most popular. And which ones did you think would make it onto the list? And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.